In this video, we are going to talk about our net worth for July of 2021. We're going to share all the details, including our assets, debts, and of course, our progress to financial independence. So stay with me to see all of our real numbers and details. Our net worth for July 2021 was... Welcome to the channel. We have a very exciting video today. But first, if you're new here, my wife and I are an average couple in our 20s working to reach financial independence. Our goal is to have a net worth of $1 million by 2026. On this channel, we share our thoughts and ideas on personal finance, our wealth building strategies, and the numbers along as we progress on our FIRE journey. We are just average people and definitely not experts, so always do your own research when investing your own money. Make sure to hit the subscribe button to follow our journey. As always, we're going to look at our spreadsheet that we developed back in 2017. This document has improved over time as we modify it to fit our needs and as we get suggestions from you guys in the comments below. So if you have any suggestions of your own, make sure to leave them down below in the comments. So at the beginning of every month, we sit down and we input all of our account balances, debts, and anything else that would contribute to our net worth. We keep our tracking system as easy as possible since your net worth is pretty simple to calculate. It's just your assets minus your debts. However, as time has gone on and our lives have gotten more complicated, so has our financial life. But keeping everything organized in one universal spreadsheet is a great way to see your progress over time. Quick walkthrough through our spreadsheet, we have an assets tab including our cash on hand, our checking accounts, our brokerage account, IRAs, things like that. We also have a tab for our debts. And the only real debt we have here, as you can see, is our mortgage, plus some small balances on our credit cards that we pay off every two weeks. Also, we have a mortgage tab and our final net worth tab that shows our net worth over time. So like we always do, let's start things off in our asset tab. We categorize our spreadsheet from most liquid assets to most illiquid. Liquid meaning how easy it is to convert to cash. So we start with cash held in our checking and savings accounts, stocks held in our brokerage account. We have our IRAs and Roth IRAs, our 401ks from our employers, our HSAs, and then we have other investment accounts and finally our home. We have been doing the detailed tracking of our assets for at least a year now, and we're very happy we did. Looking month to month, you can see changes over time, and when you look at a bigger scale over 12 months, you can really see significant increases across many of our own accounts. What this shows us is compounding interest was working in our favor and is helping to grow our nest egg over time. If you look at my wife's 401a plan, it is at the highest it's ever been, $68,476. However, next month we expect to see a dip that will impact our net worth because she is getting a new job. One of the ways that employers try to keep you at their company is through an incentive called vesting in your 401k balance. So what this means is when your employer matches some of your contributions, that money isn't necessarily yours until a certain amount of time has lapsed. My wife's company is on a vesting schedule, meaning if she leaves before the vesting schedule is complete, they take back some of the money that they have contributed into her account. So it is definitely a bummer and we expect to see a decrease in our net worth in this account. However, this is a good change for her. She really needed to find a new job and will have a raise here. So overall, we see a net positive from her changing jobs. Another observation you can see is that we closed down our American Express savings account. As you can see here, interest rates have gone down significantly and we are earning 3 to $4 of interest on this account. Now that it is combined with our regular checking accounts, we can access our savings immediately. Whereas when it was at American Express, it may have take an entire day to get that money. And since this is an emergency fund, we feel that having it available to us in an instant is more important than making a few dollars of interest every month. So this may hit our passive income, but I think it's best for our overall financial independence strategy. So if we move down to the bottom of our assets spreadsheet, you can see that our total assets for the month were $439,038. We've been consistent in our contributions every month into our asset accounts, and we're comfortable with our savings versus spending rate, so we expect to see this steady increase in our assets over time. Like always, you can see the biggest increases in our investments accounts and retirement accounts because these are invested in ETFs, stocks, and mutual funds. The market has consistently increased over time, and the more money we have contributed into these accounts, the more dollar amount increases from month to month. 
So that takes care of our assets, let's move on to our debts. So debts are anything you owe to someone else. This could be student loans, car loans, credit cards, medical bills, or your mortgage on your home. Some people feel that there are good debts and there are bad debts. Bad debts being things like credit card debt or anything to buy items that depreciate in value, like a car. What people say are good debts are debts that you use to purchase an asset that will appreciate in value over time like a home loan or invest in yourself by going to college and taking out student loans. So our only real debt is our mortgage and that we carry on our home. And if you saw our last net worth video, you would see that we had $1,400 in credit card debt, which is now down to nearly zero. This was just a timing issue that we paid off the next month, but to keep ourselves honest and to show that sometimes our credit cards hold a balance from week to week, we showed that there was a $1,400 balance in the credit cards. We pay $1,500 a month in our mortgage and $688 goes into principal and the rest goes to taxes, interest, and insurance. We have a 15 year mortgage on our home and have lived here for about 2 years. So in total, all of our assets are $439,038, minus all of our debts of $129,795, gives us a total net worth of $309,243. Last month we were just shy of $300,000, so it is awesome to see that we made it over the $300,000 mark. We saw gains across most of our accounts from our continued savings in our retirement accounts and our investments in our brokerage account. Building up our overall net worth across multiple accounts is a huge part of our 10-year retirement plan, and we are really excited to see the progress every month when we check in to see our net worth. So comparing last month to this month, our net worth last month was $299,330, and today it is $309,243. This represents a 3.31% increase from last month, and a total dollar increase of almost $10,000. If you've been following our channel, you would know that we check in with our net worth once a month and track all of these numbers. Being able to see these gains are what keeps us motivated to keep saving our money and we hope it proves to you that if you continue to invest month to month and continue to save your money, you will see progress over time. And finally, the last piece of our financial journey we wanted to check in is our goal to fire. Our initial fire goal is a net worth of $1 million by 2026. With this amount, we would achieve lean fire and would be able to live comfortably within our modest lifestyle. We will achieve this by investing and consistently hitting a savings rate of 50 to 60% and accessing the best tax benefits and investing in the stock market. However, we don't save every single penny we have and spend only on the most necessary things. We do take time to do things that we enjoy now and be mindful about our spending. We always look at things as a way to increase our quality of life instead of just feeling like we're throwing away money. This does require us to make sacrifices, but it also makes us appreciate the times when we do spend on things we really enjoy. So as of now, we are 30.92% of the way there to our $1 million goal. Every month, this percentage slowly increases, and across 3 years, this is really great progress to see. So remember to check back next month to see if we make it to the one third mark. And in summary, our July 2020 net worth was $309,243, which totaled a $9,913 increase from last month, or a 3.31% increase. Also, a quick note, you can see we are ahead of schedule on our progress to financial independence, beating our numbers by nearly $15,000. So anyways, thank you for watching today's video. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to see all of our net worth videos. Leave a comment down below of anything that you think we could do to improve our spreadsheet. And as always, thank you for watching.